Dubs versus its original expensive counterpart part 3 video coming right up. What is going on guys and welcome again to another video and how is 2019 treating you so far? I'm curious bro. You guys been insisting and insisting and insisted to have a part 3 dupes versus its expensive counterparts and I love these type of videos and I know you do love him and this video is dedicated for you. Yes, this video is dedicated for you brother or sister or anybody would love to save a dollar or two or 17,000 it doesn't matter but at the end of the day because I am no sponge I'm gonna make you smell freaking expensive at a fraction of the price yeah and of course stay tuned till the end of this video to be eligible to win a full bottle of a very e extremely excellent clone of a very expensive niche fragrance I only have five fragrances for you guys this video just because I have two great uh, clone companies they offer to have different giveaways so I, I just want to have separate videos for separate giveaways just for you guys so basically part 5 coming up very soon as well another thing these 5 fragrances they're not in any particular order I just picked them randomly and before I even start this video you know me already you know what time it is it's my sweet dance move time that you guys seem to enjoy so here you go <laughs> I feel like I became a professional dancer. I feel like charging you already. My number five on my list it's a classic. Both of them, the cheaper or the expensive counterparts, they're both classics. The cheaper counterpart at a certain point in the 80s was it. There's nothing better or beat it that fragrance in the 80s hands down but on the other hand the expensive niche counterpart actually came out first and the two fragrances I'm talking about it's G.I.T or Green Irish Street by Creed versus Cool Water by Davidoff I am pretty sure 227% of you guys already know about Cool Water Davidoff it is definitely one of the biggest classics of all time and uh, Creed G.I.T when people started to know about it they kind of like put this to the side and started all of them follow the Creed hype and I can totally see it even though they smell like up to 95% alike but quality wise it, there is a big difference seriously big difference especially for the Creed side when you first spray it on it's very green very natural very extremely soothing on the other hand cool water it's a great alternative if you don't want to spend the pretty penny for GIT. My number four on my list is a honey and tobacco based fragrance. You know what? I just realized I had two different fragrances in two different countdowns in this video. There are tobacco and honey based fragrances. Guess what? I really do enjoy and love this combo and I think it is a great masculine, sweet, extremely sexy combo on a man. Anyway, the expensive niche counterpart is Herod by Parfum de Marly. It is a great, great, great fragrance. I personally love and it got really, really big time hyped up when it first came out. It was like, it was it. And this is its cheaper counterpart, Zara Rich, Warm and Addictive. This is a great, great alternative for this for $20 this is this, I, I love this one for a certain point in life this one got discontinued from the Zara boutiques but nowadays you can find it easily at any Zara boutique or you can find it online no problem and for $20 for 100 ml so you can't beat that deal bro if you want to smell like carrot which is a great smelling fragrance you can smell exactly almost like it for a fraction of the price. My number three on my list is the It right now. I'm telling you, it's the It. Hey guys, seriously, this is number one designer fragrance as of right now, and it's gonna be like number one for multiple years. I just know it. But it is still expensive for being a designer, so at least you need to drop $100 to be able to purchase this fragrance, guys. And of course, I'm talking about Dior Sauvage, yes. And its cheaper counterpart, Hunter Intense. This is around $900, this is around $27, $30. There's, there's a big 
difference right here it performs great on me as well a lot of people told me that this one doesn't perform on them i don't know maybe this is an older formulation or something so take that with a grain of salt but both of them they're great if you can get this and see how it performs on you you don't need to spend the 90 to 100 dollars on dior sauvage number two on my list is another honey and tobacco based fragrance and guess what it doesn't smell like herb it smells completely different i really do love these two fragrances guys the expensive niche or the cheaper counterpart they're, they're both freaking awesome and the expensive counterpart the beast mode naxos by zerjov i love this fragrance and of course it's cheaper counterpart is pure heaven by thierry mugler as you guys can see i don't own pure heaven unfortunately i used to own it at a certain point in life and i freaking cannot regret swapping it years back for something else that I totally forgot which one it was. They are both freaking phenomenal. Zerjov, of course, is the better quality, but on the other hand, Thierry Mugler Pure Heaven is kind of a high-end designer fragrance, so it is good quality as well. They are both great, perform great, 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 great. There you go, guys. Here's my number one fragrance of the night, the star of tonight of this video. It's a great fragrance for a great, very expensive Creed fragrance. A, a newer Creed fragrance. Yeah, that literally smells like 100% like it. There's, there's no difference at all. This is the full bottle giveaway right here. Osberg from Zoha Aroma. Look at this beautiful bottle, first of all, for being a clone fragrance. I, I really love this packaging. It's freaking awesome. And this Asberg, it's a 100% clone of Creed Viking, which I don't own a bottle of because it's too freaking damn expensive. If you like freshly clean, classy sandalwood smell, you would love this one. Or if you know how Creed Viking smells like, and if you like this smell, please give this video a thumbs up and comment in the section down below to be eligible to win this bottle, bro. I'm telling you. Anyway, I want everybody to comment in this section down below because guess what? I'm really excited to give my very first giveaway this year, 2019. There's a bunch of giveaways coming out this year, so please stay tuned. Just comment down below, give likes, um, subscribe, and do all the good stuff. There's always links down below of where to buy these things. Always check my links out. It's very important. It's gold. This is it, guys. I know sponge making is feeling good always easy. Peace. Thank you